Hi, I'm Braylon Creighton, and today we're out here in Northern California. We're back in the tide pools, and today we're going to talk about a peculiar creature, which when I first saw it, I actually thought it was a rock or something that was originally part of the tide pools, not a creature. But if you zoom in closely right here, you'll actually find that this is an animal. And it's actually related to, um, it's actually a mollusk, which means it's related to limpets, snails, and even octopuses. This little thing is, act, is related to an octopus, which is kind of blows my mind when you really think about it. So these creatures spend their time just feeding on the algae on the rocks, and they kind of glide over the, uh, the surface of the rocks um, and cleansing all the algae off of it, which allows for more room for other creatures to um, live and clears ha more habitat for other tide pool, pool animals. So it's actually really good with these creatures too. So right now you're looking at the dorsal side of this mollusk, the top of the mollusk. The other, all of its vital organs are under this thick, um, basically armor that it has. And it has something called a radula that is basically like a tooth-like organ that scrapes away at the rock and brings the uh, fresh algae to its mouth so that it can digest it and poop it out the other side. Now, if you'll look closely, you can see that th this armor is actually plated and that's actually to help it move along on the rocks. It has this thing called the girdle on this side, which is basically a tissue that binds these plated discs and allows it to move way smoother along this rocky surface of the tide pools. Look at that. So this is what chitons regularly look like when they're not exposed out of the water. You can see the girdle right here. And actually along those that girdle, they have, um, you'd be surprised to hear this, but uh, dotted along this uh, muscular tissue is actually eyes. They have these simple eyes called ocelli that can basically sense light and dark. And um, it allows them to further detect their environment and um, also detect food slash predators that might want to eat them. All right, I'm gonna put these guys back. So that's all for today on Chitons. I'm Braylon, and thanks for watching.